The views and opinions expressed on InTouch are those of the guests and do not necessarily reflect the official party or position of Backyard Broadcasting. Any content provided by our guests are of their opinion and they are not intended to malign a religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything. Good morning and welcome to InTouch, a Sunday morning public affairs show dedicated to the health and welfare of Susquehanna Valley residents. I'm your host, Joey Michaels. Join us at this time as we interview difference makers in the community who want to help make the Susquehanna Valley a better place. This morning, we're talking with Paul and Don of Patriot Canine Rescue, an amazing organization out of Elysburg. We're talking about their organization, military and police dogs, and adoption. So let's not waste one single moment. Let's turn to our interview with Paul and Don on In Touch, a service of Backyard Broadcasting. My name's Paul, and Dawn's here. Dawn Nichols. And we run Patriot Canine Rescue. We, uh, it's a kennel for retired military and retired police canines. We basically started about four years ago just because of the love of dogs, and we actually day that brought them back in Virginia. They flew on a uh, G4 jet that was leased. So they rode in pretty good style coming back from Somalia, and we actually had a lot of adopters pre-screened, so we adopted all. They came back two stages, 10 the first time, then 11, but we had all 21 adopted within probably three weeks. We had people ahead of time waiting and ready for them. And recently, we just got a few police canines, one from eastern Pennsylvania named Coda. He got fired because he would not bite. He chased two armed suspects. And luckily, they gave up, but he was supposed to, like, bite them and hold them until his handler showed up, and he didn't bite either of them, so they fired him, and they gave him to us, and now he's in South Carolina living on a 75-acre farm and just loving life. So that's what we like. I mean, we like to give the dog, find them good homes. And, you know, one travels the country in, a like, a 45-foot motor home, and they're from, we got some in Florida, one in Alaska, Mississippi, uh, a woman was just here last week, flew in from Wisconsin. She drove back with the dog, and another one was here last week from Ohio, our first Springer Spaniel that we ever had. They were, those couple were bomb dogs that just returned from Iraq, and the Springer Spaniel is at an assisted care living home in Ohio, and there's 48 residents there and they love him they most of them have beds already for him he loves belly rub so he's like the the king of that little you know <laughs> assisted care living place he's and also boss. he's going to be honored in a memorial day parade coming up they're going to put his information like he served as a bomb dog in iraq and he's going to lead the parade so that's kind of cool and now yeah, I went to North Carolina twice to pick up those dogs. Now I'm going down next week for three more. A woman from Montoursville has been waiting on a yellow lab, so I'm going to get her a dog next week. So we just try to make everyone happy and give the dogs the best life that they can possibly have. Where are you located? Elysburg, right between Knobel, before Knobel's and after the golf course, right on 487. And do you have a website? Yes, it's PatriotK9Rescue.com. We're on Facebook, and yeah, Facebook, and we have a website. And if people go to the website, they can sign up as a subscriber, and then that's where they can stay up to date on available canines that are here and ready for adoption or the ones that, that are incoming, and also for any events we might have. Um, last year, a lot of events were canceled due to COVID, so... We didn't have a whole lot going on, but we always have an annual scavenger hunt, which is a lot of fun, and we usually hold that in October. So if people want to go and um, just sign up as a subscriber on the website, they can stay up to date and get information on any upcoming events. And actually, we'll be at York tomorrow, and then we we started in Watsontown, so we go back there on the 4th for their little celebration just to meet the people that, you know, that knew us when we got started. Now, your website, your Facebook, um, where, where would people go to uh, start the application process to adopt? That's on our website. It's very easy to fill out. 
And it should have a tab at the top that will say um, applications or I think it's actually on like three different pages. As you're scrolling through the website, you'll see various different uh, buttons to click to pull up the application. Now, is there any, do you have any requirements? Like I know that the um, SPCA sometimes says, um, you know, if you have other animals at home or if you rent, um, that kind of thing that you have to, to get extra permissions. Do you folks have anything like that? Yes, we normally do not adopt to people with children under 12. Just because these dogs are most of the time high prey drive. Now, we did make a few exceptions, but it all depends on the dog. And, uh, yeah, we if they have other dogs, we make them bring them. And everybody we adopt who has to come here, because we just sit in, you know, in the backyard under the shade tree and introduce them to the dogs that are available. And that's how we adopt. And if they have other dogs, we they bring them. We introduce the dogs. Even someone from Ohio came last week that had a cat. So they brought this cat. We stuck in a five by 10 kennel in the outdoor run and introduced two dogs to it. And the one dog did not like it, but the other dog did. Now they're best buddies in Ohio. Oh, wow. Hey, question, question for you. When, when you mentioned the dogs, um, do you have any, any canines available for adoption now? Yes, we have about five. We are small. We don't, our max is like 11. We do quality and not quantity. We try to make sure they get their perfect homes. Our kennels are all heated and air conditioned. And make sure that we can spend enough time with each dog to get to know its personality and get it acclimated a little more quickly and easy. You know, if there's too many to take care of, you just, you can't spend the time, individual time with each dog. So each, each dog has his, his or her own story that goes with it. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. And the real personalities come out when they're adopted because the one guy that brought his cat from Ohio, he adopted Rexo, and he said, boy, the personality came out like two days after he got home. The dog just changed. He's, Tell him about Dobre on vacation. Oh, we had one that came back from Somalia, Dobre. His new mom and dad took him on a vacation out to... Uh, the Grand Canyon, Hoover's Dam, a gambling casino. And then about a month later, they took him on vacation to Mexico. Oh, wow. And he flew right there with them. The airline they flew gave Dobre a free ticket for his frequent flyer miles since he came back from Somalia. So oh. he is like living, you know, the life. World traveler. Oh, wow. It sounds like these, these pups are really getting good homes. Right. Well, that's what we try. You know, it's just great when they send pictures back. We normally get pictures or videos every day from the dogs we adopted. You know, the one went to a 66-acre farm, and Dawn and I both asked them if they would adopt us because it was so beautiful. (laughs) And and they say on average that each canine during their tour or their, their duty saves about 150 lives during the course of their service. So, you know, they deserve it. When they get home, they've worked their whole lives, and they work up until the age of sometimes 8, 10. So when they get home, they really deserve to be pampered and and live the life of a dog, something that they've never experienced before. So do you do you guys get contacted from, like, uh, DOJ um, or the, the, the military directly? Not so much military, and the ones we brought back from Somalia, we got uh, like a middleman, per se, that worked for, you know, forms of government. And sometimes, like, the police canines, like, the individual department will call us. Because right now I'm negotiating, well, not negotiating, trying to set up a schedule. I'm going, like, 23 hours away to pick up a dog, 23 hours driving. So we're trying to finalize the best time that we can, you know, do that. Now, do you have, do you have, I'm sorry, do you have any details on your website about the the pets that are ready to adopt? Um, 
Sometimes that doesn't get updated as quickly as we like. A lot of that is usually on Facebook quicker than it's on the website. And what are you guys on under Facebook? Is that the Patriot K9 Rescue? Oh, okay. Normally we take pictures as soon as we get the dogs back from, well, the last several I've been from North Carolina, they're retired uh, bomb dogs from Iraq. And, you know, the other ones, police departments bring them. We always post pictures right away. And usually last year, them Somalia dogs, a friend of mine from Florida adopted a dog and he put it on his Facebook page was military dog handlers. He had 1.5 million views in 36 hours. Oh, wow. We had to take it down. We had over 1,200 applications and like 800 phone calls. Hmm. So we were inundated with, you know, and it's hard to go through that many, but we do our best. There are some people waiting, but we'll eventually get there. Oh, I bet. I mean, it, it's what you guys are doing is just amazing. Now, for someone that can't have a dog, like, for example, I'm not allowed to have a dog because I rent. Um, how can how can the public help you um, to maybe do donations or do you have uh, uh, a store on your website so that they can promote um, promote your organization uh, in other ways? She does have a wish list on the website, correct? Yep, there's a wish list, on, an Amazon wish list on the website, and we do have a store on there also. And we also have a little gift shop here at our location, so local people can, you know, swing by and stop in and say hi and learn a little more about what we do. And we have various uh, items in the gift shop here also. And some, you know, people just go to Sam's Club and get the, the big rolls of paper towels, the big packages. Yes, paper towels. That's what we're... <laughs> paper towels and simple green. <laughs> oh, my. With so many dogs, yeah, we go through paper towels a lot. Now, do you... Uh, so you, it, you take um, you take uh, things off the wish list, um, and uh, folks buying things at the uh, gift shop, can, can folks also give a monetary donation? Sure, we're... Yeah, or through PayPal... And that's Patriot K9 Rescue at gmail dot com. And there's also links, I think, on the website. website. There should be. Yeah, or if people are local, again, they can drop off donations here of you know garbage bags, paper towels. We just had someone supplies. local drop off a nice big futon mattress and some blankets, and also a check just like 20 minutes ago. And now we're waiting probably the next half hour. A police woman from Georgia is coming up to pick up a dog. She's choosing from three. She's bringing her female dog, Willow, to choose her boyfriend. That's That's always uh, fun. And there's always volunteer opportunities, too. If someone just simply wants to volunteer to help out with events or fundraising or, you know, walking dogs when we have them available. Now, a lot of times we don't allow people to take the dogs. It all depends on which ones we have at that time and how friendly they are um, and how safe they are to walk. But, um, you know, we have some that a lot of times, you know, we'll let other people around to handle the dogs too. So but there's is- always something that we can do. Anybody that's tech savvy, we always need help with that. It's just the two of us here. So a lot of times we don't have time to keep up with all of the things that need done on the website. What is your um, street address and your hours? I know you mentioned if, in case somebody local wants to stop by. The address is 1034 State Route 487, Ealysburg, and the zip's 17824. And our hours are just basically we're, call. We're usually around. Or they already stop by. And there's a doorbell out front. Right. Just ring the bell. And what phone number do you prefer? If that would be 570-939-0338. Okay, fantastic. Well, you guys have been amazing. Um, thank you for all you do. I just, um, you know, this is this is huge. This is very important. I love dogs. And uh, unfortunately, since I can't have one, uh, I plan on making sure I get a donation out to you folks because it's, it, this is just, this is very important. This is huge. And I think well, a lot of people thanks. need to know. 
Yeah, our motto is what's best for the dog. So we cater to the dogs more so than even people. So these guys all served overseas in very dangerous fields, except the police canines, but they're dangerous occupation here in the, this country. But, yeah, so we definitely cater to the dogs. We spoil them, and, you yeah, know, we appreciate anything we, you know, people want to do for us. Yeah, and we appreciate you inviting us and having us on because, yeah, we, we often don't get out sometimes, and people don't know that we're here. Or if they do drive by and see us, we have a lot of people that say, oh, we don't know what's going on there. So thank you for helping us to get the word out and let everybody know how valuable these canines are. Many thanks to Paul and Don of Patriot Canine Rescue of Elysburg. Thanks for joining me. It's been an amazing adventure learning about your organization, the retired military and police dogs, and the adoption. Isn't it so cool? That happens right here in the Susquehanna Valley. It's an amazing learning adventure, and I am loving it. So thank you for all you do. By the way, Patriot Canine Rescue. They can be found online at PatriotCanineRescue.com or on Facebook under Patriot Canine Rescue. Thanks for listening. I'm Joey Michaels, and this has been a production of Backyard Broadcasting. The views and opinions expressed on In Touch are those of the guests and do not necessarily reflect the official party or position of Backyard Broadcasting. Any content provided by our guests are of their opinion and they are not intended to malign a religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.